Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. This video actually isn't going to be um, specifically about bull mastiffs or even specifically about Tua. It's actually going to be about the collar that I have here that I did a review video on not too long ago. And was giving a raving review, absolutely love it. I still love it, but I did find a potential issue with it and I just wanted to share that with all of you guys so that it doesn't become a potential issue for you um, and it has to do not so much with like the build of it but these rings here let me show you what I'm talking about and I'll show you what I did to remedy it and to fix it as well it has to do with these big rings here and the potential issue that I found with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you in this video um, what I found to be wrong with them and what I did to remedy that situation. So I'll kind of explain what happened exactly. I was doing some work with Tua in the backyard on his long leash and there's some dogs that live next to us and uh, if you're familiar with uh, a long leash, um, if they take off running and they get to the end of that, you know, there's a pretty significant tug and I had him hooked up to his long leash and on one of these rings here. And there was a couple times when he kind of, you know, had a full head of steam behind him. And uh, when he got to the end of that leash, I was holding on to it, not really paying too much attention. And there was, you know, a couple very significant tugs. And the next thing I know, he kind of comes over to me. And I look down and I notice that these rings here were pulled almost completely open, almost to the point that they were going to come off. And what I noticed is these aren't completely uh, welded together or connected. There's a small gap there, as you can see. And with enough force, these pull apart and come open. And in a situation where if you had an aggressive dog or something like that, where they're gonna be pulling significantly, that could be um, a bad situation if your dog got off leash when you didn't want them to or in a situation where it would be uh, a safety issue if you're by a busy road or something and they're pulling and they're able to get off a leash. So I'll show you exactly what I did to remedy this situation. So here's exactly what I did to remedy this situation. Here's the old link and then here is the new link. Um, I just got one of these at Walmart. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I just call them quick links. I've heard them called you know, a bunch of other different things. Uh, but basically this is just a nice steel ring and you screw this together so that I can feed this right through this strap here. Then I put Loctite on these uh, threads here as well and screwed it together, let it dry overnight. And now I have a nice uh, link here to a, come on. I have a nice link here that's never going to come undone and it's actually much stronger than this one. So this is the link here that I'm always going to attach his leash to now when I have him on this. And then I, I just left this other ring here as well, but I'm just never going to attach the leash to that one. So this is just a really quick fix to this collar. If you guys are going to be uh, using this on leash with your dog, I would recommend doing the same thing. It's very simple. I got this link at Walmart for like $3. And uh, it was a little bit difficult to feed it through the fabric here it didn't fit perfect but uh, you know it took me a couple minutes and we were good to go so old link and then the new link so you can kind of <laughs> so you can kind of see the difference there much stronger much thicker and uh, like I said just wanted to put together this quick video for you guys 
Uh, just so you don't run into the same issue as me uh, and possibly in a situation where uh, it could be bad for you or the dog. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.